In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at something called the birthday problem or the birthday paradox. And uh, it's, a, it's a classical mathematics problem whose solution appears to be counter, counterintuitive. Um, and, and most of that's because there are, there are so many days in the year, there's 365 days in the year, and there are a large number of ways people can share birthdays. It's not as simple as just, you know, this person and this person, that's it. Okay, so uh, uh, there are different versions, but one of the most common is how many people must be in a group for the probability to be 50% or higher that any two or more people have the same birthday. Okay, so let's start with um, uh, just a group of two. Let's say you and another person. Okay, so uh, we, uh, we're starting fairly small here. So the, the probability that these any two people uh, have a different birthday so the first person, they have one of the 365 possible days of the year as a birthday. And then the second person would be a, would have a different birthday. So they only have 364 choices if their birthday is different uh, than the first person. Okay, so the, the product of these two probabilities, and basically it's 1 times 364 or 365, and that works out to 0 0.997 or about 99.7% that they have different birthdays, those two people. So the probability that they have the same birthday would be 1 minus that, or about 0 0.003 or about 0.3%. So if you take just two people, a pair of people, the chance they have the same birthday is only about 0.3%. So let's increase it, increase it to a group of 10 people. So the probability they all have different birthdays. So the first person has some birthday, one of the 365 days of the 365 days of the year, times the second person would have a different birthday. So they only have 364 possible mm -hmm. birthdays. So the next person would have, um, if they have a different birthday, they have to have one of the other 365 because two have already been taken up by these two people to be different. And then 362 for the next one. And then 361, 360, 359, et cetera, right down to 356 if you count. This is, there's 10 fractions here. This represents 10 people. Now, what's in the numerator here is the product of the numbers from 365 down to 356. And all the denominators are 365. So um, a shorthand way you can write this is the top product from 365 down to 356 is 365 permute 10. And the denominator is 365 to the raised to the power of 10, 365 to the exponent 10. Now, one thing I want to draw your attention to is this product here. Okay, so it's 365 permute 10. If you take 365, and we're going to see this a couple times, and if you subtract 10, you don't get that last number. Okay, the, the way the permutation formula works, you have to go 365 minus however many you're permuting and add 1 to get what that last number in the product is. Because uh, so you're actually going one extra if you just subtract the 10 from it to know like how far that product goes down. So if you evaluate this, you get 0 0.833. So the probability that um, that um, there be um, people with the same birthday would be 1 minus that or about 0.117, which is almost 12%. So if you go up to a group of 10 people, the probability that there are people with the same birthday, which doesn't just mean two people, there could be three or four or five or six or more, uh, is up to 11.7, almost 12%, in just a group of 10 people. Now in a group of 23, and I'll show you why 23 is an important number here, the probability they all have different birthdays would be, remember it's 365 permute 10, the last page for 10 people, so it's 365 permute 23 for 23 people over 365 to the 23rd. And that works out to 0.493. So the probability that there are people with the same birthday, and again, there could be a couple people, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you theoretically could get all 23 people with the same birthday. That'd be pretty remote, but it could happen. So 1 minus that is 0 0.507. So we're out actually now just over 50% in a group of just 23 people that there's two or more people that have the same birthday. 
if we if we look at a larger group, let's say a group of 50 people, they probably all have different birthdays. Would be uh, the permutation uh, 365 permute 50 over 365 to the 50th, and that works up to just 0 0.03. So the probability that there are some people with the same birthday as one minus that, we're actually up to a, a probability of about 97% in just a group of 50 people that there are two or more people that have the same birthday. So it seems counterintuitive. It seems like, cheapers, that seems awfully high, but it's because there are so many ways that you could have two people or three people or four people having the same birthday, and there are 365 days in the year, that the, the probability actually is fairly large. It, with a somewhat small group of people, a group of 50 people really isn't that big. Now, so we're going to take a look at some other versions of you know, the, the birthday paradox, birthday problem. So let's say we had the same group of 23 people. What is the chance that exactly two of them have the same birthday? So just two specific people, okay? Not just any two people, but two specific people. So the probability that there are two birthdays the same, these two specific people. So the first person could have any one of the 365 birthdays times, and then the next person has the same one. So that one is the same as whatever this number is here. Uh, whatever birthday, sorry. And then the other people all have different birthdays. So there's 364 ways for the next person, 363 ways for the next person uh, down to. And um, so let's look at how we get that last number, the 344. So if we go 365 minus 23 people, okay, that's only 342. But you see, uh, this this number one here isn't isn't one of the numbers in that product. So we'd have to go 365 five, minus 23, and we'd have to add two because not just one, we'd have to add two because this one isn't one of the product numbers in 365, 364, three, down to 344. So that's why that's the last number, 344. And we're still talking about a group of 23 people, so over 365 to 23rd. And we multiply it by, now, any two, uh, exactly two of them. So if there's 23 people, there are 23 choose two pairs uh, of people in that group of 23 people. So we have to multiply this by 23 choose two, because that's the number of ways you could consider pairs of people. And so... This would be 365 permute 22 on top over 365 uh, to the exponent 23rd times the 23 choose 2 works out to 0.363 or about 36.3%. So, so that's the probability that exactly two of them. Remember, the probability is up here were higher because it could be any number of people having the same birthday. Any one of those possibilities is pretty small, but when you add them all up, because there's so many possibilities, that's why those probabilities become fairly large. So this is just exactly two people having the same birthday in that group of 23. So let's, uh, let's take a look at another scenario here. Let's say you go to a party. What's the chance that someone else has the same birthday as you? Okay, or you or some other specific person. And we're going to take a look at some uh, different group sizes. So let's uh, let's start with a group of 23 people, the uh, same we talked about in the previous page. So the probability that all the birthdays are different than yours. Now, this isn't saying that somebody else can't have the same birthday. So there's you, and the probability that the other people all have a birthday different than yours would be 364 over 365. Okay, so we're not saying that other people can't have the same birthday. So it'll be 364 over 365 to the uh, the power of 23, which is uh, 0.9388. So the probability that, uh, and that's that they're all different than ours, the probability that some one of those people has the same birthday as you would be 1 minus that. So it's just about 6.1%. Okay, so it is fairly small that in a group of 23 people, there is some other person that has the same birthday as you. Okay, so we're just talking about a particular pair of people here. So let's uh, let's let's make the group larger. Let's go to the uh, a group of sixty people, and that works out to 0.8482. So one minus that is about so now we're up to about fifteen percent. 
okay, a group of 60 feels that someone else has the same birthday as you. You have to go up to a group of 253 people for it to be getting close to um, uh, close to uh, 50%. Oh, I, I guess I had that in the wrong order. That works out to 0.499, so if we subtract that from one, in the group of 253 people, um, there has to be a group that size or bigger uh, for there to be a 50% chance or better that someone else has the same birthday as you or some other specific person. Okay, uh, one last uh, page here. So in a group of 23 people, what is the chance exactly three of them? So any three people. We looked at two people on the previous page. And actually, that, uh, it's not previous page, the one before that. That was this one here, okay, exactly two. So the probability we're doing the last page is um, exactly three now, okay? So let's go back to that. So <clears throat> the probability that there are three birthdays the same, any three people. So be 365, remember the previous one, there was just one one here because we were talking about this person and one other. So we're now talking about three people. So this person and this person ha have to have some specific birthday to be the same as that one. And then we go, you know, the other ones are different. So 364, 363, etc. And to know that that goes down to 345, it would be 365 minus 23. Now, um, if, if all the numbers are different, remember previously, you know, we added one. But we have to add actually two more because there are two people with the same day birthday as someone else okay so that's why it will go down to 345 for the product It'll still be over 365 to the 23rd and then it, it's not 23 choose two when we had two like when we had two people but now we're talking about any three people so there's there's 23 choose three groups of three people in that group of 23 and so that works out to be about 0 0.0074. So we're getting to be a pretty small chance. So it's about a little less, under 1%, about 0.74% that exactly three people have the same birthday. So that's pretty small. Now, one last one. So in a group of 23 people, what is the general formula for the chance that exactly n of them, okay, we looked at three up here, n of them, any n people have the same birthday? So this is what it would look like. So there'd be n of these ones here, okay? And still be 365 to the 23rd in the denominator. So this was three people. So this is 23, uh, choose three on the end here. So the way we would generalize the formula is it would be the permutation here. See, it was 365 uh, permute 21. Uh, 23 uh, minus the two, these two here gives you 21. So it would be 23 minus the n, okay? And again, there's still got to be the plus one to get the last number of the product here, times 23 choose n. So uh, if you want to know the chance that exactly n of them, that's that's your general formula. Uh, again, if you know if uh, n was three in here, 23 minus three would be 20 plus one is 21. That's why there's 21 there. Uh, this was three people, 23 choose three, so it'd be 23 choose n here. So that's a general formula for the, the chance that any n of them would have the same birthday. Now, there's other variations of the birthday problem you can think of, I suppose, but that's a lot of them right there. So, and that's the end of the tutorial.